the Yak. Kyle walking in. It is the Yak. Big Cat will be here shortly. I think they're fi finishing up the pro football football show downstairs. Or wherever they do it. I don't know. I haven't been invited on that show ever. So I'll steer the bus for a second. I had to go get a couple replacements. Jersey Jerry is back in in his. What? Make it sound like. I was like the last resort or something like that. Replacements. Well, you are a replacement. I mean, yeah, sure, but don't say it like that. Slow your roll, stud champion. <laughs> yeah, you're a replacement. Yeah, I mean, but don't make you make it seem like you know I'm like some bottom of the barrel type of. I guy didn't. I didn't say any such thing. I said you were replacing Owen. You're in the Owen seat. Yeah, today. it's Owen's seat. I respect that it's for sure. Yeah. Replacement. And that's fine. Go ahead. Kyle, carry it away. Yeah, he's a little bit too big for his britches. What Jersey Jerry is? Jersey J Jerry? No, you're not. No way! I wouldn't say that bridges. one second. No Big way! No way! Uh, I like that shirt, Kyle. It's throwback. <laughs> really nice vintage. It's vintage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I and spent my Spectrum internet money on this. What so was your I Spectrum internet money? So I don't have internet. Oh, okay. At home? So I paid for it. Yeah. And I got all the materials, the modem and the router, but I. I couldn't figure out how to set it up, so I just stopped paying the bill. Now I don't have Wi-Fi in my apartment. Is that why you leave your laptop on my desk overnight? Yeah. Somebody tried to get me, and they tried to prank me. We were in a prank war. It's we're not laziness or poverty. It's, it's just therapeutic. I don't want to. I want to. If I have to do computer stuff, I don't want to be in my apartment. So, but when you're at home, like, do you scroll your phone or anything at night? Yeah. Or? Yeah. yeah. So you're not completely away from it. Yeah. And you aren't really a big like show watcher to begin with it's not like you have those shows you want to no, watch when you're home i was or, that was my thing in high school i was the big show walker the show watch you would always show watcher, watcher, yeah. Yeah. you'd always be talking about the show watcher you the also new viral show. you are knee deep just in, sopranos yeah you're knee deep in a sopranos rewatch mm -hmm. right now not a rewatch a watch just the first watch yeah yeah like the breakfast chain how's that been going i love it i think it's the best show ever I think everything it does is perfect, and now I can't watch another show. I tried to watch the new Dexter season. Didn't work. And I was like, the, the way they portray violence, the way they portray killing scenes just sucks compared to Soprano. When I got HBO Max, I said I was going to go back through all the shows I never watched. I did I did The Wire, but I haven't done Sopranos mm -hmm. yet. I have, I've never the guy from The Wire who passed abruptly <coughs> was in Sopranos. Was he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have a question. I know you don't really tweet anymore, but do you think you still use Twitter just as much? Like, do you still scroll no, Twitter just no. as much? I used to be very hip on every single Twitter trend. The uh, so the Wonton Don is here. Now I am bottom of the barrel. I feel like you're not bottom yeah. of the barrel, Why, uh, guys. Well, I'm just that's what he the does. The last he makes person you feel to get like called that. in. How it did I make you feel? I'm, I'm inviting you mm. guys. I walked up. No, to no, no. I'm I'm very happy you invited yeah. me. But normally, even if it's like a Friday, no, you're you're. Owen somewhere would close. bring in Frank the Tank over me, and Frank the Tank has his own day of the week. <coughs> no, I don't. Th I don't think that. First of all, Owen never acts on his own agency. I, Owen is sent out to to get guys. But you're you're very very high on the list of the replacements. You're just uh -huh. it's you're so right, you're right above Cat and right below Madeline Conroy. Right <laughs> below her, yeah. Who is Madeline Conroy? Oh, come on. Oh, Matt? I don't... Mad, yeah. Mad Dog? Yeah. You're, oh. below, you're below Jordan as well. Yep. Damn. But, I mean, I'll take it. See, I it's mean, so yeah. hard to know it's when nice. you're in the office, though. Like, like yeah, 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 yeah. You have to get used to you being in the office. Yeah, you've I been, know. So you've been living at an Airbnb in the slums of I, Jersey? I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it the like slums. Boone? It's just not the nice part. Is Where? Bo is Boat in the slums? Journal Square. Could I be. have a shared bathroom in, Journal in the Square? Airbnb. Where is that? Journal Square is uh, like as deep as you can go in Jersey City, but it's all so right. So you have a shared you have a shared bathroom with how many people? Um, I think there was like two other people living in the one other room in the Airbnb. Like, yeah, that's not bad. But yeah, I mean that's just for a week, and then I'm heading back to Italy on Thursday. Oh, that'll be nice. So what is your plan? To Venice. I uh, don't have a lot of plans at the moment. I'm just wrapping up this Balkan series, yeah. and then got to plan the next series. The uh, the water polo team? How'd, um, that come, how'd that come about? That came about, we just knew that water polo water polo is like one of the most popular sports in Croatia. So Wait, we were like, really? Yeah. I think it's 
It's who, one of their who like wins the like Olympics in water polo. Who's like the heavy hitter? I think it is that Croatia that, wins a that lot. That part of yeah. e- Europe. Serbia won a lot. Yeah, for some reason, most of the Balkans are great. Um, and so we just reached out to some teams, and the Dubrovnik team just said we could swing through practice. And it turns out they're the most decorated water polo club yeah. in the whole world. Very difficult sport. Were you treated well? Yeah, I mean, they said I could maybe sit on the bench at the next Olympics. Jeez. Well, that's I mean, a lot. Th- you, they were just one being practice. Nice. And you're going to be in the Olympics now. I mean, riding the bench, dude. Water polo it, that is a tough sport. Very just based tough. on what I know from trying to like swim, and then you add a. You can only like use one hand. Three different layers. You yeah. tread, you tread and, uh, the water. Yeah. You're like allowed to drown. Like what happens what underwater stays though? underwater. You're so allowed to drown. Well, just like the refs can't really see what's going on underwater. So you know, if you want to hold someone down for a bit. No one's going to be the wiser. So what is the what is the hardest sport? I would say water polo, just on the body, would be the, would be in that, the, is in that the a mix. recency bias. No, I, I don't. I mean, they're out there for an hour, treading water and swimming for an hour, and swimming itself well, is, is, is two levels of hardness. It There's uses the whole how body. How physically demanding is it, and how hard is it to excel at? How much skill does it take? So like yeah. when it comes to that, people I would say like golf or baseball, but when it comes to physicality. It's obviously wrestling, and then yeah, mixed martial arts, big big margin, and then boxing. Well, any any fighting sport, any you know, MMA, <laughs> judo, shit water like that. polo. Yeah, I guess water polo. You don't really have the risk of getting hit in the face and knocked out very much. Hmm. It, sure, it happens, but it, you don't maybe have that. Swimming risk. is pro- maybe harder than water polo. Maybe for me, it is just staying afloat. Well, sw- swimming, while no, swimming, yeah, swimming takes your whole to, body. Like, do a sport while staying afloat. Yeah, it's like playing hockey like i can play hockey but then you throw skates in the mix i can't really skate and play hockey at the same time well that, then you can't game. play hockey yeah then i can't play hockey but <laughs> i mean that's what you just a little, described a little was street hockey. hockey yeah i could play uh street hockey with no rollerblades i could play foot hockey my uh my six-year-old's into hockey and i don't know how to i don't know what to do i forget you have different kids i have the whole kit yeah so I have the whole six set. is I, into hockey yeah the six-year-old like wants to play hockey he's, he's really into it and I don't know what to do. I don't know how. I've never played it, so I don't know how to teach him. I did buy him some sh- a street hockey set. Santa Claus is going to bring him a street hockey set for Christmas. Live vicariously through him. Force him to do whatever sport you wish you excelled in as a youth. Yeah. And then make him carry that out regardless. No, of I've been his doing that. They're staying for it. They're playing basketball. I'm, I'm making sure that, that all my failures now are passed on to him. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm good with that. Well, you weren't a complete failure. You played some ball in college. I played, I played a little ball. It's it's best. I, yeah, I I I play. I was on the team. I I broke my leg. I didn't play. So, but I was I was there. Um, Jerry, <laughs> could what was that? No, it's funny. It is funny that you broke kind my leg. of played ball and then broke your leg. Yeah, yeah. It was a it was a rough time in my life. I was about six five one eighty. Six five one eighty is not a good mix. Too my body type. I should be about two. I should be about two fifteen. That's a good looking person. But I've I've spent my life on the margins. I've gone to two sixty and one eighty, and that's the that's the wrong way to treat six five. Yeah. What are you now? Yeah. I'm about two sixty five. No height wise. I'm still six five. Still six five. Yeah. Your height doesn't change that much. Does yours? I don't know. I, I think I've been the same height for a long time. How you feeling? I feel good. Yeah, I can see you being your height at s- sixth grade. Yeah, something like that, probably. It probably just never changed. Did you get to your height early, or was it late? No, I was al- I was four eleven, going into freshman year. Hmm. Then you jumped. You were always the short kid in the group. Oh yeah, no, there was no girls even shorter than me until sophomore year. Girls like sprout up. Before yeah. boys, yeah. there's and a couple years uh, where, yeah, and that's where you got you got to take that into consideration. Yeah, yeah. you do. Uh, what about you, Donnie? How was your height? How was your height evolution? Um, I was. Uh, I used to be really tall for my grade, for my age, and then uh, all my friends eventually caught up. Mm-hmm. But uh, now I'm just like more normal. But I used to be tall. You're still tall. How about yeah, the, I would look at that as tall. How about the? Uh, yeah, you're tall. How six, about you're six foot? No, yeah, I'm. You're not six, six two. one. Uh, yeah, he's t- look at his legs. He's taller legs. than that. I'd yeah. say you're six two. I grew at a young age. Oh, I like I peaked too early. Uh, where's your energy at, Kyle? Is it good? Why? I'm just wondering. Just wondering if it's good. Yeah. Why? Just wanted to make sure. Okay. I don't know what to do with it. What? I don't know. What are you doing? 
I'm just asking you why about you, your energy. Why do you transform into a different person every time you take the host chair? I don't transform yes, into a different do. person. No, you I don't. You adopted an entirely different set not. of mannerisms, this a different exa- personality, exactly a different cadence. Exactly a different, different, no, 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 you're different every time. How am I different? And I can already tell. Yeah, I can already tell. What's different about me? What's different about me? Never ask me that question. I have asked you that given, question plenty of times. No. no, you wouldn't. I'm just curious about you're taking you. Up I want to know what's di- going on with you're, you. You're devolving into a different person, a person that I've never met before, huh. and it happens every time you do well, this. Well, if you never met him before, how do I do it every and, uh, time? That's how cra- that's how b- uh, bewildered I am by your by your change. Well, I of apologize. Pace. I'll try to do better. Are you are you sorry? I apologize. You shouldn't be. It's I apologize. A, it's just a, it's just an observation. What are you doing? Whenever you, whenever you oh, have to host me, uh, KB, you just like he's forget how to talk. He's way less fat than I. Yeah, no, he's Why way less fat than I assume. What what's going on? Why did that guy They're knock on the window? Showing him a man. The large gay man showed me his his bare torso. Oh, okay. He's a borderline he's, bear. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. He's, he's probably bear. He seems like he's a bear. Could I be a bear? Because I have a very uh, hairless chest. Like like I think all you have to do is. Be fat to be a bear. Does a bear refer to your hair, or does it? Well, just you got to be fat and hairy, hairy but a, maybe a, just fat. A huskier, hairy man. Yeah, Jersey Jerry. Yeah, huskier, hairier man. You're not as hairy as I thought you, you would are. be. Well, that's because I shave. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know. Do you so sh- shave your chest? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. You Leg? shave everything. Your arms too. Something like every couple months, I'll do my legs. Why? Because you feel good. I've never shaved my legs. Did you have to shave your, that shit? You don't have to do that for wrestling, don't a you? A lot of wrestlers did because they want to look bright yeah. in a singlet. Yeah. Mm. Water polo sh- shave, I assume. All the All swimmers, swimmers, shave, swimmers yeah. aquatics. Yeah. Shout out my new podcast, 51 Strokes, me and Stu Finer, a swimming podcast. That's going to be I awesome. Like that. First episode drops next week. Nice. Stu will probably have yeah. a stroke trying to do it. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> just going to be, I mean, just because like, every elite swimmer I've talked to, they say like swimming – 51 strokes a day is the key to success. What is a what is a stroke? Has a uh, stroke is just like one. one. That's one. Okay. Two. Jerry, if you can do that every day, what's what am I looking at? Bright things in your future. It's Marty. Marty. Yeah, what is this? Marty's taking care of my back. Had a couple patches, uh, hair back there. Marty took care of it. You know, I yeah. g- they grow like in like weird patches sometimes. Yeah. How you know? else would you do it? Th- yeah. yeah. I have a friend with a hairy back, and he's so ashamed of it, he won't even take his shirt off at the beach. Really? And I asked him, why don't you just shave it? And I guess he got laser surgery to get the hair removed. Yeah. But like 2% of cases, the hair just grows back twice as thick if you have that done. And so now he just will never take his shirt off. I've always heard that. I've always heard that if if you shave it, it'll grow back twice as thick. But I don't don't know how the, the science behind that doesn't seem to line up. It only happens to certain people. You have a certain amount of hair in your body that your body can produce. I don't know why that would double because you got rid of one layer. It's kind of like slash and burn. If you want some something to grow well, you should burn it first. Mm-hmm. And that never made sense either, but that is the way you do it. Like You, you yeah. burn the, the top layer off, and then boom, fresh fresh comes up. Yeah. That laser stuff's probably really expensive, no? Yeah. I don't get being insecure about your back hair. Yeah. It's not like... Embarrassing. I think I, I I think there's a certain stigma of back hair, right? You don't have no back hair, Brandon. I don't have any back. I don't have chest hair. I have. I'm very. I'm a hairless guy. Really? I don't have. I barely have eyebrows. I don't. I don't grow a lot of body hair. KB, do you ever have any chest hair? Or no, back hair? no, none. You're blessed. Blessed. Yeah, no, but I don't think it's like gross. I don't think it's unappealing. Yeah, I think for like a girl, I don't think it's a deal breaker. Like, no, I don't think so. They come home with you, and then they see hairy back. They just walk out. I the think door. I want to disagree, guys. I think back hair no. is disgusting. I don't think there should be hair I don't on like back. it as a man. I think I'd be able to find a strand of hair on your back. Uh, you could probably find a strand of hair, but you certainly couldn't find a lot of hair. What? Let's just bully in the gaze. Have a seat. <laughs> have a seat. I'm always welcome to that. Well, what did you just do? Just well, you know, know, less than two minutes ago, you you pulled a stunt. You gained my attention, and then you well, I was trapped up in the goon pit with, with we'll Trish for a whole hour and a half, and um, I got a little stir crazy in there. So I had to lift my blouse up and show you my nipples. You did lift your blouse. What do you mean, stare crazy with Trish? Who's in Trish? the goon Trish pit, is, too? Could we talk about that? what is the goon pit? The yeah. goon pit is, that's what we call it out and about podcast studio when we, we sit there. You have, to, you have to listen to the goon pit. Listen to our segment on the goon pit this week and well, you'll find out. We all do shows in that room. That room's not called the goon pit. It is when Trish and I are in there. This, so what this size shoe do you wear? 15. Wow. Mm-hmm. So... Pat was like, he started mm. to tell me what a goon party is. And, yeah, I, and we, I'm a big goon guy, as in crab and goons are my favorite food. This this is quite different. Okay. The gooning is when you um, pleasure yourself for hours and hours on edge, not letting yourself finish. 
And so a goon well, party is when there's a bunch of guys all erect but trying not to come. Yeah, we went to a live gooning um, in New York City just the other day after publicity's um, party at the winery. There, there oh. was a live gooning? It was a live gooning we attended. And there's a stage with gooning men? No, it's just all over. It's like it's it's in it's just happening everywhere. It's on the pool table. It's in, it's in the walls. It's just everywhere. In, it's the, in the walls? walls. In some, in some cities. So it's a bunch of people on the precipice of coming? Yeah, but they don't, that, they don't that that There's no retention finished. rate in that. Well, it's the holidays. So everyone's, it's, everyone's, yeah. it's camaraderie. Is it like a game of tag? When you come, you're, you're out? Is it like some sort of dodgeball going on? I guess so. Yeah, you probably don't want to do that in front of people. You have to like go. It's, it's taboo if you do. Does anybody ever accidentally you know, okay. come? Maybe. Pre-com. I've never seen it in my, in my line of work. Who's Trish? Pat. Jesus. What so you <laughs> what, this, what is this company turning into? So you into? went from, from Patrick <laughs> what are we to doing? Patricia to now just Trish. <laughs> what well, I, the? That's said sure. The what happened to the her, common her man for the common man? Her you know full what I'm saying? The Milton is Patricia day. McAuliffe, but I change, you know, I, I shorten it for Trish. Now we're doing this. I like Trish. Yeah. My ex-girlfriend um <clears throat> Her uh, her mother was the tan mom. You ever hear about that? Oh like? yeah, I know her. Yeah, I called her Trish. Oh, you're the, you're the real one. Yeah, no, her, my ex girlfriend is the daughter her, of the real tan mom. Yeah, is she the one that went in the tanning booth with her? Yeah. No, no, no. Her her little sister. Her oh, little sister. lucky girl. But she never. Tr- Trish is a woman here. It was always a fake story, though. She <laughs> never went in the tanning <laughs> booth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going on there? Well, That's I did. My Woody. Oh, there she is. I yeah, <laughs> she looks like the top picture to the left now. Oh, who's this? Yeah, but did she used to like make you her daughter. meals when you went yeah. over there? Huh? Did she? Did you have to go over their house? Oh yeah, she's one of the best cooks I've ever met in my whole life. Oh. Now, he used to date Tam Mom's daughter. Oh, my car's here. Well, I have to go, gentlemen. Okay. I, I, I'm off to my second gooning of the day, but um, I'll be back Thursday. Yep. Okay. Get gooned up. Let's be safe. Scary. Yeah. Godspeed. Congra- congratulations on the big fight. Thank you yes. so much. Uh, Can a woman do goon? Have, do you have a personal no, driver? You will not text me later. Yes. No. Yes? Well, yes. Um, Uncle D gets me a free car. Mm, unbelievable. Uncle, Uncle D. Uncle D, yes. Uncle, Uncle D. D. I wonder if he helped him buy the Cartier bracelet. Um, Cartier bracelet, huh? Mm-hmm. Nice. Are you for or against camping? That is Stephen Che's big question today. Are you for or against camping? And and I the phrasing is interesting to me. See, who would be against camping? I understand not, not wanting to go camping, but who would be like outwardly against it? Yeah, uh, like an a, like I it's anti camping, pol- like a political stance. Yeah, no, just you would never want to go camping if you had the choice. No, and I like every aspect of it besides like staying in a tent overnight, sleeping. But I feel like you'd be a good camper. I like camping. I, I enjoy like the, camping, but I haven't found a friend who wants to go camping with me for probably the last six years. I'd go camping with you. That would be fun. We should do a little barstool camping retreat. I would. Okay. That'd be fun. Yeah. I've never been camping. You've never been camping. You've never been camping. No. As long as we go and it doesn't rain, I'd be happy. Have you ever been skiing? No. Snowboarding? No. No. I've also never skied. Canoeing? Never. Kayaking? Never. What have you done? Wow. These I'm are a simple all like guy, man. I just yuppie activities. Work and I just go home. I just love. I just like being in bed. I like. You know, all of these things that they're mentioning, camping, kind of blue collar. It is blue collar. Camping, it has. It maybe it was once blue collar. I yeah, feel like I now it's just it's seen as collar. like you know, uh, rich white people. Like, the, oh it's no, like no, the like uh, it's the Brian white Laundry people. archetype. Not, not rich. Like, I, I guess I guess where we are here, that's probably true for you guys. Where I'm from, though, like, like camping is very much yes, not. Yeah. V- camping is very much an accepted part of culture. That you know, we're gonna go camp by the creek and go fishing first thing in the morning. That happens a lot. True. So yeah. Th- my culture is a little different, I guess. Yeah, no, no, it is too. I was just thinking of like a certain type of person, like the um, crunchy granola trail mix eating yeah. Uh, yeah. lib. Yeah. The people they who can afford to, to take four months off of work to hike the Appalachian right. Trail. Yeah. Yeah. Trustafarians. Mm-hmm. What's that? Trustafarians. Yeah, I like that. That's like when you see someone with dreadlocks, uh, like a white dude with dreadlocks um, who has a trust fund. And, uh, and they actually exist. At first, I thought that was just like a saying, and that I've since I've met you two. Met some? I've met two in in real life. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like them? Um, I didn't love them, but uh, I could I could hang out with them. KB, I've I could started be in the same room as them. I've started doing something that like I think I think I got the inspiration from you. I've just started finding these YouTube things and just diving straight into the rabbit hole. 
So there's this guy. He's a very famous YouTuber. Xiaoman, something like that. Uh, Xiao Ma NYC. Yeah, I yeah. hate him. Okay. I can't stop watching him. I know. He when, has, there is like an appeal. There is like an addictive part of his videos. It's very addictive. When he starts speaking Chinese and he oh, goes to Chinese restaurants. This dude. is the white, yeah. he's like a white oh dorky God, dude. Right, he's a white yeah, dweeb who knows like different like languages. He's fluent in multiple languages and all of his videos are titled like white guy, right. oblivious white guy stuns Chinese restaurant employees by right. speaking fluent Chinese. And all of it, it's, obvious that he did like 10 test runs at local chinese restaurants filming himself speaking mandarin in front of their employees obviously 90 percent of them don't give a fuck and then he posts like the 10 percent who have a reaction i like to see this guy yeah it, it really is it, lame. it yeah. i've watched i watched like two and loved it and then the third one i started to fall off and then last night i watched one i just outwardly did not like and like i the 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 staying power here is very very it's very low uh, but I watched one last night where he spoke to Jamaicans in Jamaica, Queens, and he was really just speaking English. But he was patois using yeah, the accent. Uh, yeah, he was using. Yeah, yeah, well, he. I mean, I'll give him credit. He, I mean, it's impressive that he knows like, b- like right Bengali and all this shit. But he he did one in Arabic oh, so the other day. He oh. Knows, oh, he knows a lot of languages. I thought it was. Yeah, like, I thought it was is, only Chinese. Yeah, no. No, he's good at what he does, and he's making money from it. So I'm not going to knock him too hard, but I don't like him. Yeah, I got down that rabbit hole and like stopped myself before I like got to like thirty videos. I watched about five. Yeah, how the, are you um, saying, Jiao Ma? J- I think Jiao Ma NYC. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I went with the approach of just being in China, not knowing how to speak Chinese, and I I didn't get nearly as many views as him, being in America speaking fluent Chinese. I mean, you get a you get a good. Well, bit of views, Donnie. Ch- Chinese, yeah, the Chinese like restaurant industry, they're, they're not like friendly people, are they? They're, yeah, they're talk about the Americanized Chinese It depends Chinese on the restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. They will, like, I'll, I'll drop some, some Chinese every once in a while, and most people appreciate it, but I think it is very rude just to walk up to someone who looks Chinese and start speaking Chinese to them, because there are American Chinese people who don't know Chinese, and they'll just think you're trying to be racist if you come up and... But if you're yeah. in like Flushing Queens, that pretty much is China. You can speak. But Chinese they don't the have like a, a like a hospitality culture of like you know Americans seek tips with like going overly friendly. Yeah, yeah. There's not in China. There's no tipping, which is actually nice. And you're allowed to just like yell for the waiter to come. Like here, you have to wait patiently. But in China, you just go for Wu Yuan, and you just like yell <laughs> at them to come over, and it's <laughs> nice. There's no like, I don't know. I uh, so the patrons like are the rude ones. Yeah. Okay. And I just feel like, I don't know, in the U.S. with tips, it's like, all right, you, you, you pretty much leave a solid tip regardless of how good the service is now because you just not, like they're not being paid. That's just how it works. Mm-hmm. But um, so I feel like it's kind of lost all meaning. She would know Chinese. Who that was. <laughs> she <Relax>. would, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's call her in and start <laughs> speaking Chinese. I don't know who that was either. He just waved. I just waved. She, was, she looked very friendly. I was very happy to be here, so I waved. Um. What else you got on here, Steve? What is the best thing to eat over our campfire? S'mores, chili, a can of beans, or other? Say s'mores. <laughs> yeah, the, the classic three and then the <laughs> other, yeah. Uh, a can of beans, really, on a campfire? I like baked beans. Isn't that like a, a big Western-type deal? Mm. I guess maybe. I don't know. I Who would say not s'mores, though. S'mores are highly overrated. Very overrated. Uh, disagreed. I don't think they're ever rated. They're not regarded as, as anything other than a campfire snack. No, I think they're regarded uh, more highly than they that. They should be a more predominant flavor. I like like In what s'mores way? flavored ice cream. There should be more s'mores things. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I, I agree with that. But I, I, are pretty every, good. every time we, we talk about s'mores, or my family does it, it, it sounds great. We buy everything, all the ingredients, and then... By the third one, you've got chocolate melting all over your hand and stuff. It's hard to bite into. It's hard to so bite thirsty. into. The marshmallow is, co- is hot as fuck. Yeah. Like, it, it's just, a, it's, I don't know. Maybe I haven't figured it out yet, though. Uh, Steven, the answer to this one is definitely in this room. Who in the office would survive the longest in the wild on their own? Yeah, Donnie. Probably. Yeah, it's definitely Donnie, me. Donnie, yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> mean, I can handle discomfort to a high degree, but I don't have a lot of, like, survival skills like I, I don't know how to make a fire neither do i i've experienced um, with being like without food or, or water for a while mm. yeah. yeah me too it's led to irreversible eating disorders yeah you don't 
complain a lot, I would say. But then I, so I can never tell when you're actually like having a good time or you could be having a horrible time and you act the same way. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think that's a pro. But yeah. how long did you go without food and water? That's the key thing here. Well, it's not like entirely without either. It's just like for a while without enough. I don't know what the longest time period I've ever gone without food and water. Four hours maybe? Not long. Be- being thirsty was the worst part by far. I didn't give a fuck about food because your yeah. stomach shrinks and it accommodates for that. But being dehydrated is the worst pain, is the worst misery yeah. a human can feel, is being yeah. without liquids, water, and not being able to appease that. I don't know that I've ever had a period of prolonged thirst, and that would, that would absolutely de- devastate me. Is I wouldn't it, be able to go. It just go completely destroys your mind and brain. How long do you think you could go without water? Six yeah. hours. I feel like I could go probably about thirty. Thirty hours? Can he go thirty I think hours? Like I drink very good. good water. Typically. Well, he wouldn't. What actually Mentally is the weak. limit? Like, well, how long can you survive w- without water? I don't know. It's not probably much week, longer right? than. No, no, no. For water, it's only like a day or two. For Seems food, really. for food, you could go like weeks or something, but. Are you saying just water, or are you? Are, I'm, we're talking water Liquid. as being any drink, right? Yeah, we're just saying like, I think you'll die of thirst after like a day or two. Yeah, Steve. You when water. you say no water, you mean liquids. any beverage. No beverage. Yeah, you can not go thirty hours without a beverage. Yeah, you could. Typically, a drink. We like for sure did. Water a day. Three days. One, what do you say? We did. Who did? Like Three wrestlers days. would. Did you really? So you can drink your piss. I mean, we've definitely done twenty-four. Like yeah. where we are. You actually can't. Or, a bu- or the blood from a bat. I don't think Steven could go 30 hours yep. without a beverage. I don't think he the could. The argument in the booth is that if you eat food, then that technically contains water. No, I'm, we're going to give nah, you the I'm beverage. Not saying it's, that. it's the beverage thing. Uh, you, w- I don't think you can go 30 hours without a beverage. I don't think you could. Me either. Yeah, because if you just ate a lot of fruit, to 20 a you're day getting a lot of water. Most days. So I don't think it would be too bad. I'd like I might to get see a headache. you do it. We're gonna a headache? You know, we're going to have to do this. The Mongols? No, you, I mean, uh, he, yeah, it wouldn't be too hard. The Mongols used to drink their horse's blood uh, in order to survive, like, long treks through the desert because there's water in that. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> do you think Stephen Shea could go 30 hours without drinking a beverage, any beverage? No. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. boys. You're good? There's a way to so hack. I mean, if I drink, you know, sort of two if I drink a bottle of water. I understand. Your seat's empty. Why would you sit in that one? I don't know. Very no, reasonable. Change it up a little bit. I have a question. Yeah. Wait, so wait, what's this? Steven thinks he can drink. What is going on right now? There hey, at, we, I asked how long you guys think you could go without drinking any water. Yeah, you could go 30 hours. Like six hours. Yeah, 30 hours is very <laughs> doable. Yeah, 30 hours I don't think he could. Good. I don't think he would. S- I yeah. Drink, I drink like 16 to 20 ounces of water a day. So he probably couldn't. That's not a lot at all. I drink so very little Wait, water. 16 to 20? Yes. Like oh, that one, is very one little. One bottle that's, of water. Yeah, that's nothing. Why do you drink so little water? I'm a salt guy. So. Do you drink anything what? else? What? No, that's what do you mean that's you're salt guy. That, that's, means, that means you need a lot of water. water. Yeah, that's the op. You. I don't drink that much water unless I have to, and I'm on like two d twelve. But something. salt, having a lot of salt means you're you should drink salt. more water. Necessitates water. water. Yeah. That's yeah. like saying I don't drink a lot of water because I eat a lot of pretzels. No, I think he's right. I think he's right. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, Isn't that's that is exactly yeah. what it is? Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's right. I think he's right. Yeah, he's, he's not right about right. what? My my aunt doesn't drink water. Period. But yeah. she drinks beverages. Is she yes. dead? Yes, what but she, she doesn't dr- drink what water. What is she sipping on? Like if I called her now and said, "Hey, Dee Dee, when's the last time you drank water?" She'd be like, "I have no clue." We'll call her right now because I want to hear more that is true. Frank the Tank doesn't really drink water. I think. Well, he, I, I I remember him saying he hates the taste of water. I'm I'm fascinated by people who don't drink water. Have different beverage. I have a question after Jerry calls Dee Dee. Aunt Dee Dee. Hello. Dee Dee Love. Yes, hi. Hey, you're live on a show right now. Real quick, Dee Dee, when yes. is the last time you drank water? Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't even remember. I don't... M- months. Months. What What do you drink? Iced tea. Just uh, straight iced tea all the time? <laughs> yeah, and... I cannot, I don't drink water what, at all. What about when you brush your teeth? Do you brush it, do you gargle with iced tea after? No, no, no. I, I rinse out with water. Okay. I told you, she don't drink water. Thank you, Dee Dee. Love you. Okay, love you. But Ooh, that's crazy. The, crazy. She sounded hot. She also, sounded like Charmaine from Really Sopranos. hot. Yeah. Like, super hot. 
Dee 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 Love does not she, drink water. She, I'm she, telling you, no water. Caffeine she's dehydrates hot. you too. Why so me? yeah, would you? Would you? If Dude, you weren't big cat, no. stop <laughs> it. <laughs> stop it. But huh. she's pretty. Okay. Very pretty. Very pretty. I knew it. Yeah. God damn. But I don't know if my bitch. I don't know if I could be wifed up. I don't know. Without she, a wa- no without water a, drink. Uh, no water. Yeah. With a lint, with a dude, she does not drink water at all. I mean, no. drinking iced tea though is not that f- that far of a departure from water. But no water, no water. like you don't yeah, even I would like. Say it is. That yeah, is, yeah. There's caffeine in in the tea, which dehydrates yeah. you further. I guess. I love water. So what do you do drink like other water. than water? You, 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 is that all you drink? I all drink day? water and alcohol and coffee. Soda. I'm pretty much the same. I yeah. don't. I, I I'll really sometimes do diet coke. Juice yeah. No juice. No, no milk. I drink water and tea. That's all I drink. Um, I so I had a question, um, Brandon. Yes, hi. Uh, Christmas is coming up. It is. There's gonna be some gifts under the tree for your kids. Yes. It, will there be a specific gift that says from Uncle Big Cat, or will it be from Santa, oh, or will did it Big be Cat from, get a gift? Ooh, yeah, Uncle the Uncle kid. Big Cat might have gotten. Tommy and the what boys you? a gift because and the boys and the, boys and the girls. One of the, uh, one, the gift. one of so the one of the big gifts from Santa Claus this year will have will have come from uh, your house, Uncle yeah. Big Cat. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So will I be getting credit for that or no? Santa is probably getting the credit. Would you like the credit? Does actually I don't really need the credit. Does your wife know that Uncle Big Cat got it, or does she think also Santa got it? No, she will know that Uncle Big Cat. <laughs> okay. Got it. She doesn't know now. It's the Oculus that I bought that yeah. I never once oh, opened. Oh, yeah. The one Which, you had, yeah. When Brandon texted me, was like, of course, because like I literally have never I bought it six months ago. I've not used it once. It's the best possible scenario to have it go yeah. to someone who actually wants it. They'll love that. Tommy will absolutely That'll go yeah. crazy. Yeah. 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 But I just didn't know if it was, you know. But I did offer to pay you for it also. No, but I don't want money. Okay, all right. Yeah. But yeah, I just wanted, you know, I wanted maybe maybe a video of Tommy like knocking shit over mm-hmm. on Christmas Day <laughs> with the Oculus. So I do thing. have a balance in my house of those who still think Santa's coming and those who think it's just Uncle Big Cat. That think it's 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 that daddy being Santa Claus. Mm-hmm. So oh, I will, Uncle I, Big Cat. I will tell Tommy <laughs> on the morning of I'll pull him inside and hey like, like Listen, keep this between us. This came from Big Cat. Yeah. And you'll get your video. Okay, that's all I want is a video. I just want a video of him happy. Like preferably causing maximum damage, maybe in your man yeah. cave, yeah. where he's got the Oculus on and he's just smashing. Shit. What's I an am- Oculus? What is that? The VR 3D. Headset. Oh, the vir- virtual reality. Yeah. Thing? Maybe set up some glasses around so we can yeah. get. Some, I want well, that's hear dangerous. Smash. To, that's dangerous to him. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We know. But I want my <laughs> satisfaction. T- Tommy's down bad. I almost uh, called Sheesh. in sick today. I almost took him to the ER this morning. That's wow. He's got the flu. And he was he's being watched right now. My my my, my wife's over top of him, but he like there was a moment. Like, him and uh, Nick just got the f- straight up got flu. A bad no flu, COVID, yeah. recessive get gene. The flea, get, get, well, the flu's kind of flu flu's kind of being like you know I've been disrespected. The last yeah, flu's two years. back. Flu, yeah. Flu's like yo, flu you all forgot getting, about me. Yeah. I'm here. Statement. It's game. way worse than yeah. COVID. yeah. There's Marty going to the bar. Yep, Marty going to drink. He's walking hey, to his Marty, desk. You gonna get a drink? You gonna get you a beer? Drink? Fucking alcoholic. Yep. Denial. Mm-hmm. You have a kid too, Jerry, right? Yeah, I got a two and a half month old. Oh, uh, actually, I'm oh, sorry. Three uh, three months it's old okay. tomorrow. You really don't have to worry about uh, that. Three yeah. Months. Forgiven. Do you even have to buy a two and a half month old gifts? I did. Yeah. You know, I did. I did. You know, I wanted to get him a, um, a little Kia Telluride truck. You ever He's seen but he's three months. My girlfriend yeah. said no. I was gonna that say, might be a little. Not, it's a little old. It's too, yeah, it's too much, you know. But uh, yeah, just clothes and stuff. That I don't appreciate I mean, that. Yeah. I don't think he'll know, but whatever. I mean, good man. I don't know what else to do. He won't know do until do? he's about three. His next Christmas, he will be for much more enamored with the wrapping paper and the boxes. Yeah. About three is when he'll really know. I don't even know if three. Not three, yeah, yeah. Well, rem- memories. Memories is not till like four, but I'm saying, at three they at least know that it's a special day and they're going to get gifts. Yeah. Wh- whereas next year when you buy him gifts, Jerry, he's just going to play in the boxes. My yeah. problem is I'm already, t- I can already tell that I'm uh, the type of parent that like I just, I like, I like when my kids and my my daughter's too young, but I like when my son gets things and makes them happy. So it's just continuous gifts, right? Yeah. Like I just buy stuff off Amazon. It's like, here's mm-hmm. more cars. Mm-hmm. And because he, it's he fucking goes crazy for it. It's like, why wouldn't I 
give myself this experience. What's the duration of that thrill? It's usually about a couple days. A new toy? Oh, that, oh I, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. You yeah. squeeze a couple, a couple days. days out of that? Oh, yeah. He loves it. But I got I'm this pit. big Mack truck, and he fucking loves it. I'm picturing your grand, magnificent home filled to the brim with like it's pretty much endless cars. amounts hey, of toys. Everything I just said is, is mm. really just But he will stick with one little for cars. a couple days? Yeah, oh, yeah. Cars, dude. If you got him a, a really all day, cra- every day. If you got him a really crappy gift, you would probably appreciate it just as much as like you something try nice. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah but the idea. cars, man. If you got him like a mop, I'm sure he'd be it's pumped. He's got all the cars. What's his Hall of Fame? Yeah, What's his Mount Rushmore of toys over the years? Cars. Just all four different cars? Yeah. So you have a favorite car? Is it Lightning McQueen? Is he's it Mater? Been on a Jackson ah, Storm guy. Like he's Jackson Storm guy? He's, he's not yeah. a train guy? Oh, he likes trains too, but not as much. I know what you're trying to do. He gives eye contact. I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> I just saw that his on for his school list there's a daycare assignment. Oh yeah, the trains. trains. Yes, yeah. that was one of those ones. Where it was like, dude, you fucking all you talk about is cars, and then you go to school and you say trains. That's what he was thinking. You put for, someone right? on the yeah. spot. It's hard to come up with. Yeah, an like, answer. What, what's yeah. still going on here? We never play with trains. They used to have those Hess those Hess trucks and. Oh yeah, the Hess trucks. Those they cool. still have it. Every yeah. Year. Yeah, every year. Those are cool. I used to get those. That's only a thing up here. When I got here, everybody asked me if I was going to get my kids the Hess truck. Yeah. I had no idea what they were talking about. Yeah. That's just a truck. Yeah. But it's nice. White and green. I'm so. running through a problem with my wife right now in that I'm ordering gifts to come home, and I, I need them <coughs> to be put away. And she's she's just the first couple she just has given to the to the boy. Give, give them to the kid. And Yeah, and because it's hard. Because right, it's fun. Right. Yeah. So she gets the gift. Get, I order it. I'm going to hide it for Christmas. She gives it to him, and it's her giving it to him. What? So now she has the memory. He has the memory of her giving him. So you're him ordering these pi- these gifts for Christmas. Right. And your wife is yeah. just. She's steal- because the act of giving she's a stealing gift stealing to the a glory. child she's, is awesome. She's stealing the glory, and she doesn't have to go through the act of hiding it. That's why I now have everything being sent to my office. So if you see my desk, your it's, office. Not, it's covered in. Did I say my office? Yeah. You did say your the office. office. So Excuse I think me. The I office. have a feeling that the Oculus was maybe going to be slipped in as a Santa gift. It, to even your wife. No, it wasn't going to be slipped in as a Santa gift to my wife. I would tell her where I got it. I haven't told her yet because there was no reason to tell her. Mm, it hasn't gotten home. Interesting. Would you like me to tell her right now? No, call, it's okay. Text her? Maybe call Dee Dee again. She <laughs> Say what up? <laughs> say what up to Dee Dee. I just sent Zah and TJ a picture. Yeah. This is my house. What else? I have more questions for her. No water. Yeah. Just iced tea? Yep. What? I love That's iced it. tea. It's yeah. weird to then, like... Yeah, and she doesn't I would assume, taste the taste, right? I would assume she doesn't, go, she, she doesn't go. She doesn't go. I think you can be a no water person, but you probably can't be like a regular exerciser. Oh no, she don't exercise. Right, no. like you. I would imagine like going to the gym if you're doing strenuous workout, and you're like, all right, now I'm just gonna guzzle my iced tea. Mm. This is my house. This is this is just it all the time. And there's a there's, <laughs> well, there's also a basketball goal. Yeah, there's a cooler that Those we are had out. Those are in a perfect line, color coded. Yep. Oh. He got. I came down. And it was all set up like all that. All right. Yeah. Perfectly linear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Doubles of a lot of them because I found out for fifteen bucks you can just get a backup pair in case you lose one. <laughs> you know. What is, what is that? What do you mean you found that out? Of course you could just get. No, two I just realized we lost one once and it was a fucking meltdown. I was like, is all right, an, just, is he an outdoor kid or an indoor kid? A little bit of both. What's his favorite outdoor thing? You take him to the park. Trains. What trains? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say. Does he like sure. to watch the boats? Is he a climber? Is he a jumper and a climber? The boats and construction sites. Watching the boats. Construction oh, he was, sites. He like uh, he like coming by my jobs. Yeah, no, there actually was. It was funny yesterday. I was we were walking to school because I walked to school with him every day, and and uh, there was a like a big digger that was dropping yeah. dirt in there, and he we stopped to watch it, and then on the other side of the construction site, the guy's like, "Big cat, the, f- <laughs> the fucking bears stink," and I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> we're just trying to watch this, dude." Like, <laughs> a very funny yeah. moment. So yeah, a daycare on a construction site. That'd be That's yeah. That'd be that something. works out uh, incredibly. Blue collar, like, blue collar preschool. Yeah, utopia. I, like I would yeah. love that. That would be cool. Make sure your kid doesn't end up a pussy. Donnie, when are you? Uh, what's your schedule? I'm heading back to Italy on Thursday. How awesome is Italy? It's pretty cool. I haven't had like a lot of time to explore, but Venice is absurd. It's just living in one of the only cities that has zero cars. What is? Does Venice smell? 
Oh, great question. It doesn't smell too bad, but apparently like five times a year it floods and just I'll be walking around with water up to my waist. Yeah, how does it – so everyone has – You're yeah, walking it, around with I, water so up to your waist? It hasn't You're waiting. flood yet, but my landlord, when I was renting the apartment, he goes, you're going to want to buy some boots. And I'm talking about like fisherman boots, the ones that go up to your waist because five times a People year – People are just willingly walking yeah. in water up to their groin. So does anyone have computers? Yeah. I have no idea how that works. Apparently, people just go about their daily lives. But then, like, what about all the fancy stores on the first floors? Like, do they do just people flood? just keep everything like off the floor in their apartments? Yeah, thankfully, I'm on the second floor, so I don't have to worry about that. I haven't been there for a flood, but yeah, I mean, Venice is sinking. Any advice, Stephen? Yeah, I mean, those boots will come in handy, but if things are in sitting water for like over a day, it's ruined. Look at that. Yeah, actually, search on YouTube, like, a Venice flood. There's well, have they some tried clip. to look for the drain? <laughs> I know there's, like, yeah. a clip of everyone just, like, eating They don't lunch. have a guy like that in Italy. They need one guy. They Prima need to really send that guy. So the whole city is just, I, I it kind of blows my mind. I don't really, can I see an aerial shot of Venice? Well, there's, no wait, cars. That, uh, wait. There's, there's cars. No, that's not Venice, then. That looks like shit. No, that's, uh, yeah, that's, can, Sicily. A, no, search can I see an aerial Venice shot flood. of Venice? I want to just kind of understand what we're working with here yeah something. i can i can show you exactly where yeah i want to see where you live something i've come to find out is my town cranford is called the venice yeah. of new jersey I'm and this it. is the place that you bought and we're like it's oh, never hell. gonna fly. Oh, i hate the boy. way you said that. what the fuck you say but you and the, yeah so this is where you're like don't worry it will never flood like it's a mo- well i mean <laughs> that's the, there are chances were theoretically low Okay, wait. Can you give fun. us? Can you show us an aerial picture? I, I, yeah. I like to see aerial pictures of a city. Yeah, to really I understand it. Yeah. I love maps. Oh, that's oh, Venice. Dear. Wow. Holy shit! It's so that really way more is. dense than I imagined. Yep. Holy fuck! That's crazy. So that's. It looks like Cape Coral, Where's Florida. Where's your apartment? Ah. Uh, let's go. Oh wow, we're gonna get to the. Uh, you, see, you can die directly. You see, you see my mouse? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a nice area. Here. Now it's streets, obviously. It's just, or is there water that goes in between? Yeah, I think there's water that goes in Can between. Can you the zoom streets. in? Yeah, wait. I want to see the canals. Google yeah. Google Maps, maybe. Now I'm confused. Is there. So there's one walk. Main, there's one main feeder canal, and there's other smaller oh, it's really canals. out there. Yeah. So they just put too, much, too many houses on this fucking island, and now they're like, why is it sinking? Um, well, no, it's just that it's right? like, it's crisscrossed with. Mm-hmm millions of not like thousands of canals um and yeah oh also i had a great idea if new orleans starts to flood they should just turn that into the venice of the south Ooh, you like, mean the cranford of the i don't south. think that would work <laughs> yeah the cranford I, new jersey i of the think south. it'd be nice it'd be like a more blue collar venice it'd be a lot like, of deaths not enough southerners know how to swim steven you take you the train in all the boats i do yeah because you got the train right in town right Yep. Yeah. Occasion That's Venice good, would be sweet. You have those little there, swamp Jerry? boats uh-huh. cruising through the canals. That's very clear water. I think it's a yeah. One, is it's it, nice. Is it a one way? One one stop? No stops? What? What? Are you, he's just asking his commute. <laughs> I'm trying. No, I'm trying to get it. I can't. I'm trying a hard time finding a house there. I mean, everything is so expensive. I'm just. I keep yeah. trying. I just, You're right. It stinks. Is uh, it a one? It is. Is it a straight shot or no? Uh, I got to transfer to Newark Penn unless I always. Yes, unless it's like off hours or I'm going to my oh, kids. Yeah. Oh, by the way, a- out. Alex go said that, that uh, maybe tomorrow we'll do it. She's, she said that Kim is making more cookies. Oh, that'd be Good. great. Good. I don't think that she realizes that whatever she makes, I'm going to rank them really low. Yeah, they're going <laughs> to. It's kind of a bit I got going on. Yeah, I like that. I don't like it. Yeah, Jerry said I was a bad guy. Were they I really bad? More like, it know, is kind of. Do you wonder, you, is the bit I worth it if you're just going to. I didn't really like them. Wow. Yeah, Kim really? went in the garbage. They were like the dry and, and peca- pecan. Yeah. Pecan. Oh, yeah. It wasn't dry. I don't know. She done good. What would like, you rate them, Jerry? I did a nine point seven. Oh, yeah, that's but a that's, little high. But yeah, I'm, no, 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 no one will yeah, ever you take are. you seriously. Listen to me. You're patronizing. No, I'm not. Listen to me. Fans every year send me those cookies. All every, every year. When have you had, well, you had, fans every you had year? a fan base? I've had fans before Barstool. Oh, yes. Yeah, but every year it applies. contest. I'd say, okay, the last probably... 17 three, years. Three years, I'd You've had say. fans for three years. The okay. last three years, Jersey, fans Jersey always Army. send me. Those are one of the best ones I've had. The only knock I have on them, why they weren't a 9.9 or a 10, was because 
Kim didn't put powdered sugar on. If there is a knock on the cookie, it can't be a nine seven. Oh, good point. Why? Agreed. Nine seven is almost perfect. I think nine point seven is perfect to watch. I had a nine point nine today. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. It was delicious. Fuck. It was fucking good. My mom's making it. brownies next week. Oh, oh I will wonderful. rate those. Ooh, yeah. Like Bring them that. on. Like you brownies. rate them bad, it'll break her heart forever. Well, no. Yeah, she, does she know what yeah. she's doing? Yeah, TJ, you, you know me pretty well. That was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it'll crush her. If you rate I'm going to rank them two, and I'm going to eat the whole fucking yeah. thing. Maybe just be honest with one person. I was. It was Stefan. He had 9.9 cookies. Oh, Stefan can cook a fucking cookie. Yeah, he was really good. Yeah, that good. motherfucker can bake. They were really yeah. good cookies. Uh, yeah, he you can. You Stefan's cookies? Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Did you watch Succession, KB? No. Oh. I, I saw the, the comparison. That didn't understand it, but it seemed cool. Either. Yeah, the, the No Context Yak guy tweeted out a pretty good comparison. I also think, who were you? You and tell me. I can't remember. Oh, you were Roman, which actually makes even more sense. Because okay. Roman's I don't know. a sexual pervert. Yeah. <laughs> He's a pervert. But also, Donnie, wouldn't you agree KB is more even Roman in that, like, he's a very kind-hearted person deep down, but it's he can never have, like, a, a real heartfelt conversation. It's always going to lead yeah. to a joke. He's incapable of, like, a real relationship. <laughs> <Okay>. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I love and him. He's a fucking television star. Yeah, that's true. And, and he's yeah. a Culkin. And, he, and he's fictional. All right, so there he's, it is. Right he's there. very quick-witted. Yeah. Yeah, what did you think about this, Donnie? All right, let's see. I don't know this. So you're the... You're the you're so Brandon's nailed. Na- they nailed Brandon. So who is that? It's Kendall Roy, who's just trying... Who's, who's like, uh, power-hungry. Yeah. And, and okay. ultimately very dumb. Yeah. yeah. But perfect. trying to On the nose. constantly take over Nail the, the head. company. Yeah. yeah, he tries hard, so but he usually yeah. ends up depressed. Uh, Caleb oh. is Connor, is, p- is pretty good. Yes. I don't know why Steven is Shiv, but I guess it kind of makes sense. Kind of always out of the loop. Yeah. I guess that would make sense. I love that picture of Owen. It Just kind of falls apart after the the left-hand side is really, really strong. Everything else is kind of flimsy. I and mean, then we made Roan Stewie, which I thought made sense as well. I mean, it's going to be crazy when Dave gets up there in age. We might have a, a lot of succession-esque theatrics oh, you think going so? on around this company. Imagine if we ever became like a uh, like $300 billion company. Yeah, and Dave's like, hey, listen, I'm going to retire for good. I want to hand over the reins. Yeah. It would get pretty heated. It would. I mean, I think you would probably have the I would, no, but if you them. But if we're talking like 30 years from now, I wouldn't. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't want any of that. I wouldn't want it now. Yeah, because I don't Heavy know. Heavy lies like, the, what is it? Oh. Uh-huh. Heavy Heavy lies the the crown. Where's the crown? I could not do Dave's shop. The um, Brandon could. I love that when um, (laughs) Greg the Egg (laughs) ran into Dave during a pizza review, and he's actually like a huge fan of Barstool. Yeah. So you guys can maybe have him swing in for the yak someday. Ooh. That'd be cool. I'm sure that would mean a lot to him. Can we retweet uh, TJ's <laughs> Rutgers tweet? I already retweeted I, it I, twice. I was, is it going to get there? I was told I, I was going to get fired if I did. So there's a confusion. There's the original tweet. Right. I yeah. Know. And that one has to get. Who said you're going to get fired? The 5,000. Dave retweets. did. He sent out an email. Yeah. <laughs> I, but, but everyone's retweeting the quote tweets, which technically don't count. Oh, I did both. So what are we at? I can't read that. 3.5. 3.16. Good luck, TJ. I've done all I can. When is Wisconsin playing? Uh, probably January. Okay. Well, maybe we'll go. Actually, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to go. You could go. That would be nice. No, I'm not going to go. That's so far away. I'm not gonna go. not far I don't away. like that. I don't Spider's like you back. need a certain amount of retweets to get this. Why don't you just yeah. talk to a man-to-man, Rutgers, your account? Like, Do you want me to have these season tickets or not? Do you think it will be beneficial to you or not? We should also just be like, hey, listen, Rutgers basketball, I am a huge fan. There, How many people can you say that about? Yeah. Yeah. Less than yeah. 50. Right? Less than 50, right. So, Probably James Gandolfini's dead. James Gandolfini's dead. That's th- So, there's got to at least be one pair of se- uh, season tickets open. He probably had like four or five seats. Yeah. Ray Rice, haven't seen him in a long time. No, he's, he's, out. he's probably. I don't know if Kenny Brick can afford it. Brian Leonard, bad mm-hmm. guy. Brian Leonard, yeah, yeah. So what? What are we talking about here? 
And he seems like seems should be wide open. Seems like yeah. he should be wide open. Plus, Frank's a Seton Hall guy. So Frank's, you know. yeah, that's that's a power vacuum that's been created right. in the state of Jersey. Well, yeah, what, what is the re- what, That's arbitrary. I'm going to DM them right now. Tell them to pump the it up. No, just say, hey, just give them the tickets or not. What do you want to do? Yeah, shit or get off yeah. the pot. We you, the as an things. adult, what do you want to do? Do you February, want it? Do you want him to have the season tickets or not? February twenty sixth, Wisconsin comes to Rutgers. That's February twenty sixth. Rutgers tonight. needs you more than you need Rutgers. Would you agree with that? That's no. probably not true. <laughs> okay. He made him go viral. Like, how often does that happen? Got two million views on that. <clears throat> I rounded up. Is that okay? You rounded up seven hundred thousand views. Sometimes I, I'm, I'm addicted to the roundup game. I'm gonna retweet it for you, TJ. I don't I don't care about the job. Oh, wait, were you gonna get fired? I get fired. I don't care. What, so Jerry? Dave apparently hates TJ. Yeah, but he he Dave retweeted it for him. Yeah, and so everyone's I'm like, like oh well, you just helped him. Uh, like like, I love the internet. Was it twenty? Is it at twenty eight right now? How good a head do you think Nancy Reagan really gave? What is probably pretty good. I mean, she landed a, a a guy that a governor that would become president. Like, and he was but like what? And he was an actor at the yeah, time. Yeah, she like, landed a Hollywood actor. Yeah, but that was like that was a story. Like, I unfortunately, like we will never know. But I'd love to know, like, how just how good was this had to this be head good. that she gave? It was it was it had to be great. A lot of ball I play. Always, I always wondered that, like, as you as, as, no, as, as, now? as you get old, like, you know, I'm not I'm maybe a little past my prime, a little bit, but like, as you get older, do you, like, do you still get head? Do you, I, I think know, you actually get more head. Are you only thinking of old yeah, Nancy cause Reagan? Because it was young athletic. Nancy Reagan that gave the I'm, head. No, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting about the whole Nancy Reagan thing. I'm just saying, like, in your in your late 30s and 40s. What? Like, the, yeah. Like, God I don't damn, know. I hope so. I hope so. Well, I think there's a there's probably a point where it comes back where it's like sex is too much work, so head is just easy. Mm. Gotcha. The villages down in Florida have uh, a crazy uh, sexually transmitted disease problem. Yes. Mm. I, I think a lot of nursing homes have that, right? Speaking of. Yeah, yeah but. And the way they're giving head in their nursing s- homes? <laughs> Yeah. The villages. It's Remember, like the villages me, wasn't a the nursing. Vi- the villages is a yeah, place where they go to live. A retirement right? yeah. community, but yeah. me and KB met a guy who's a gigolo. Dennis. There. That's like Dennis Dixon was it or Dennis? He played quarterback at Oregon. His first name was Dennis. I forget yes. his last name. Speaking um, of, I got something new. The wild women. The wild women. The ripping in the town. The ripping in the town. The ripping in the town. Big cat. Big cat. Oh. Big cat. This is Edo Rick in Arizona. Father <laughs> Weave. Bob and Weave, Bob and Weave, Bob and Weave. Hey, man, sorry to miss a uh, uh, call last night, Nat, but talk to Brett, and his possibility will be in North Carolina. I don't know. Uh, it it then tails off to something saying? totally we different. And we real point- I don't know what why he's even say- talking about. <laughs> yeah, Hito Rick. The guy who asked for it lives in North Carolina, uh, but Hito Rick gave me a shout-out. That's out. awesome. Yeah. Big Cat, Bob and Weave. Bob and Weave. Yeah, so the, the Hito Rick would... Send him down to Florida. See, that would be nice if we could, like, you know, it's always like, ah, uh, uh, MJ versus LeBron. You'll never get to decide because they play in different eras. Like, let's get let's get Nancy Reagan reanimated to suck off Hito Rick and then properly judge these blowjobs. Is Hito Rick even a head guy? Ah, uh, I think he's an everything guy. I think uh, he probably doesn't come from head. You're right. If someone's just ripping and tearing yeah, and bobbing right. and weaving, there, I don't think they care about head. Yeah, you're probably right. S- yeah. He probably d- it's probably a formality to But what an Rick. honor, what an honor to get head from Nancy Reagan. Head is probably like the prayer before Thanksgiving for him. He just can't wait to d- he just wants to get in. Yeah, right. He wants to get in. In. Hito Rick, what a legend. Guy f- probably fucks for hours. I don't I'm know how gay. much how many dicks have been sucked it, in the White House, House, you think? When I'm older. Wait, what? So let's do two questions. There, yeah. Donnie, you go first. Oh, I was just saying, like, do you think most people just get less horny with age? And yes. Then by the time you're 70, you're just not even I would yeah, intrigued. Testosterone, yeah. But th- but there are 70 year olds who are still fucking a lot. Apparently. Yeah, I think they I were know. probably horny all their life. Who, what yeah. was the the tw- someone commented like I was Nick and KB or low T Buzzfeed uh, Buzzfeed authors? I mean, the low T part kind of agreed true, with, but yeah. Buzzfeed authors, I mean. I don't think you could compare One of our coworkers replied. I think I have low T. I feel like that was a shot at me. 
Uh, Kelly in Vegas, I think. Said it's you have low T? She said she low T like and then like the less than symbol a bunch of times. I don't think you have low T. I d- uh, you don't have low T. No. I have low T. It's the principle. You can't have a squat record with low T. I do have a squat. Thank you for That's remembering. Like that is fifty five. That is those with low two tea, huh? things can never go to get like a, anyone who anyone the out t- there yeah. who's holding a squat record has a adequate if not elevated amount of T. Mm-hmm. I think I go in cycles. I'll have like a week feeling a little low T, and then I'll have a week where I'm feeling pretty high T. Yeah. Just yeah. It is. I mean, it's depending on working out, like that's. Ooh, if yeah. you work out, your T goes up. Okay. What were you going to say, Brandon? How many blowjobs in the White House? How many dicks have been sucked in the White House? Well, I'd say the amount of presidents. 50, Wait, 50, specific? No, I don't, I don't think there's any that. dick. Uh, you think Biden's getting his dick sucked in the White House? Yes. I think he's got his dick sucked, yeah. yeah. Well, he's, if he didn't do it this time, it would happen you think last ta- time. You think Taft was getting his dick sucked in the White House? Yeah. I don't For know. Sure. I but also, know. other guys get their dicks sucked. Well, uh, certainly we know Bill Clinton did. I, I would assume now right No, but did. I'm saying, like, not even just presidents. Staffers, low level like staffers. Like fucking JFK, all his boys got their dicks sucked in the White House. That's probably true. Yeah. How many presidents were there? Was it 50 something? No, we're 46. 40 we're 46. 46. How do you forget that when you have a tattoo of 45 on you? 45? Where's my 45 tattoo? No, you, the, the president who was 45. Well, so what, what else? What? Trump. You have a Trump tattoo, is what he's saying. I don't have a Trump tattoo. Why are you trying to stir the pot? I'm kidding. Uh, I, I'm not. I, this I, it's not the time to get political. <laughs> Wait, will you let me know when it is? Uh, sure. I mean, I've, I'm not saying who I voted for. It was funny. I was asking Jerry about like what guys talk about on the construction site, and what? No, go ahead. No, this, fine. Is, this, fine. Uh, this, this is fine. This is fine. I don't it's care. Fine. It's fine. I actually think that like people disagreeing, uh, the the worst thing that happens like on Twitter when people like, how do you follow this fool who has an extreme thought left or right? I'm like, I don't know because I want to see what other people are saying. Like, I want to see what an extreme person is saying. I'm not saying I agree with them, but he was like, I was like, do you guys talk about politics? He's like, never talk about politics, but we all pretty much agree on everything <laughs> politi- politically. So I was like, "This is not even a big deal." Yeah, <laughs> that's part of the game. Yeah, you guys are all welfare for all kind of guys. Socialism. <laughs> nah, Bernie. Uh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Just some Bernie Bros doing work together. Nah, we comrades. <laughs> yeah, we 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 voted. We voted for Trump. Mm, do yeah. what you got to do. Hey, that's that's. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's fine. Like everybody has their own. All right, let. Let's let's switch it up. Um, what about DD? No, no, I'm not calling DD again. Uh, well, why don't, why don't you? Let's find a reason to call. <laughs> yeah, <him. laughs> there's no reason. What about? I mean, um, she's gonna have. What else about her? What's her other? Like, what's her defining characteristic? She doesn't drink water. What else? She don't drink water. She goes to bed. I'd say about seven thirty. Oh my God! Call her up and prove that. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Yeah, call she, her up. She's growth. She's the first one at Shoprite every single week. Does every she week. smoke? Wait, no. what time? <laughs> Early, I think six o'clock. Monday. It is so awesome to shop at Shoprite at six a.m. <laughs> Wait, no. every day she goes? No, I think she goes on Saturdays, six o'clock. That's actually an awesome move. It is fantastic. There's nothing better than we we've often talked about stolen time, like when you do things. Yeah. Oh, uh, she, she vacuums every uh, like <laughs> That's normal. Times. No way. Call her up. <laughs> um, Prove that. There's nothing better than stolen time, where it's like, if you're if you're drunk, like. Like the Cubs, when they play two at two twenty on Fridays, you get drunk and then you leave the stadium, and everyone's getting off the train from work, and you're like, "I've been drunk that's, for hours." Yeah, just, Going to time. shop right at six a.m. on a Saturday while everyone's yeah. sleeping, it's like I've yeah. just stolen this time. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's free time. She's very, very structured. Very. She's a good cook. She's a good cook. Yeah, she's a good cook. She I sounds say. like a great gal. Would she's you let good. her see your grandmother's cookbook? No. Is that her mom? That's her mom too. Oh it's wow! My mom's sister. So you never would. Yeah, no, they look identical. So your mom? That's the yak for All me. All right, see you guys. For me. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> Hi, young blood. It's the yak. It's the yak.